And uh, this topic's uh, going to be on the Amazon Kindle Fire, um, because um, at the beginning of 2012, um, the sales on it dropped dramatically, um, which kind of gets me worried because I want to see the Amazon Kindle Fire succeed in the uh, tablet market. Now, uh, the Amazon Kindle Fire, it, uh, it has a very low price point at $200, which they actually sell at a little bit of a loss, but they supposed, uh, supposedly are going to gain this back through paid services and media like movies, TV shows, books, and so forth. Um, and we did see a big surge right before Christmas, and um, which was expected, and they did take the second spot. Obviously, the Apple iPad was number one. It did take the second spot in tablets, and then the Samsung was came in the third place. Now, right after Christmas, we're seeing the opposite. Sales dropped to the Amazon Kindle Fire, and now actually the uh, Galaxy Tab tablet is uh, now in second place. And there could be several reasons why. Um, I think uh, some of it had to do with um, the Apple iPad 3, or they call it the new iPad, being released, and the iPad 2 dropped uh, in price by $100. Uh, that might have something to do with it. Uh, obviously, there's probably a little bit more to it than that. Um, now, Android still lags behind in some things, uh, like fragmentation, poor customer reviews, and pricing missteps. Not necessarily talking about the Amazon Kindle Fire per se. Now, price point does matter, but only up to a certain point. Because even myself, I did buy an Amazon Kindle Fire, but it was for my son who really wanted an iPad, but as we all know, they're, it's pretty expensive. So I think maybe that's why we've seen such a big surge in uh, tablet price or uh, tablet sales for the uh, Amazon Kindle Fire. And if you can remember, um, with the, uh, I think it was the HP Touch, I think, touchpad or um, their version of the tablet, it initially sold very well at $99. And they were actually selling it, uh, I think it was like around $400. But obviously it sold so well because of the $99 price point. So I hope the Amazon Kindle Fire does succeed. Um, I'm really rooting for it, even though I do have an iPad. Well, I would sub, it was subsidized to me, so I actually only had to pay an additional $100. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope they really succeed.